Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel and some interesting numbers that I was wondering exactly where we were back in the day. So when, um, and on July 29th, first of all, of this year, and by the end of this month, Windows 10 will have nine years. It's July the 29th, 2015, that it was released. Now, we, of course, are on Windows 11 today, and Windows 11 is a little more than two years old, and um, kind of two and a half years old. And I was wondering, at two and a half years old, um, of course, we saw the statistics this morning that we barely are arriving at 30%. Is it a big difference from two years old of Windows 10? And I went and fetched the Windows 10 stats for two and a half years, basically. So Windows 10 enjoyed a 6%. Uh, market share already in August 2015, the first month it was released, which is remarkable as it's brand new. But it was also free and a lot of people jumped on the occasion. At that time, when Windows 10 was released, Windows 7 was at 60.2%. So it's less actually than Windows 10 is still today. Now, if we go for... Windows 10, if we look at the roughly two-year mark, we were at 37, 36%. And by the end of the year, it had reached 41.7%. So definitely Windows 10 did rise faster, but it did not rise that fast. I mean, there's 10% difference. It is a notable difference. But we are still not, I can't say it's, you know, remarkable. Um, and Windows 7, well, it was still at, uh, if we look here, in November of 2017, there you go, so Windows 10, Windows 7 here was at 42.5% in November 2017, roughly a year and a half after the release, and that is where the difference is, and interestingly, the Windows 10 operating system really is slowly going down compared to Windows 7. Windows 7 had lost, um, you know, it moved from 60.2 and was at 42%, 41%. Um, so it definitely was going down much faster. People were adopting Windows 10 and were ditching Windows 7, which is not that clear when we look at today's numbers where Windows 10 is still very high at 66%, while Windows 11 is going at 30%, which seems to kind of show that people are holding on to Windows 10 machines and buying maybe new Windows 11 machines and not necessarily upgrading anything. Uh, so this is very unique in the way that it's happening. But um, we can't say that at 41%, it was, you know, mind-boggling numbers for Windows 10 either after two and a half years. Still, it was 10% more. So this is kind of an interesting um, way to compare uh, the Windows 7 and Windows 10 machines. Now, also, we have to note that what if, what if the minimum requirements weren't there and that Windows 10 machines could all run Windows 11? Would two and a half years later, Windows 11 reached 40%? I think it might have. So it, it might really be a lot more the minimum requirements that are blocking it from going to, uh, to a higher number than people not wanting to move on. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.